In order to display text on your publication, you must do so using a text box. Placeholders are automatically added in most templates for text. But additional text boxes can be added if necessary and then formatted after created. Like any other object, text boxes can be moved, resized, copied, and deleted. Just remember that when you're working with multiple page publications, linking text boxes will give more or less an order to them and it makes the publication easier to follow. When there is more text to be displayed than can fit in the actual text box, an overflow button will display letting you know that you need to pour the remainder of the text in the area in order to read the full story. To begin, ensure you have Publisher launched and the news file open. Since we just learned that text cannot be added directly on a page, we're going to create a new text box. Select page 2 on the status bar. Press the F9 key to switch to 100% magnification. Navigate to an open space where you'd like to create your text box. Then, on the Objects toolbar, select the Create Text Box button. Press and hold down your left mouse and draw a rectangle over the area you would like to have your text displayed. Release your mouse to solidify the creation of the text box. Then, you can begin typing into the text box. You can begin to format the text box in a couple of ways. The first way is you can resize the text box area. Then, right-click the text box to show the shortcut menu. Click the Format Text Box command. In the Format Text Box dialog box, ensure you're in the Colors and Lines tab. From here, you can modify by changing the fill color and the line colors. Once you're satisfied with the changes, click the OK button. So now you should see all of your changes applied to that text box. Let's go ahead and switch back to page number one so we can now begin working with your text overflow options. Scroll to the right a little bit so you can view the entire third column. Then click somewhere in the supplies column. When you click inside a text box that's already linked, you should take note of the three different areas that become active. First, the Connect Text Boxes toolbar at the top of your screen. Then, the Overflow button, as well as the previous text box button that symbolizes the link. Then, click the Create Text Box Link button on the Connect Text Boxes toolbar. Since the text box that you wish to create an overflow into must be empty in order to create the connection, let's click on page 2 of the newsletter to find an empty text box. Click inside the first empty text box under the title WSG, your one-stop shop. Take a few moments to format your new text box as well as go ahead and make any other formatting changes that we've learned and worked with in any of the previous modules. Since we still have more story left that's backed up in our overflow, we're going to go ahead and click on the Create Text Box link button once again and pour the rest of the story into an empty text box. Click in the first text box under the rest of the story to show the remainder of the text. Take a few moments to sift through the flow of the story by using the previous and next buttons.
In the event that you need the text to say flow in a different direction, you can also disconnect your links. To do so, you would have to select the text box prior to the one that you want to disconnect it from. So let's click on the first text box under the rest of the story. Only text boxes after the currently selected text box will be disconnected. So to disconnect the last text box, let's click on the break for link button on the connect text boxes toolbar. Take note of the removal of the text from the center text box, as well as now you see the text overflow button once again. 